Good morning. Good morning. It's bright and early for the bunkies. Yes, it is. It's an early morning. We got to get to the camper before bunky starts work. Yeah. Got to go hitch the wagon, as I said. We're hitching the wagon. We were supposed to yesterday evening, but we had other... I had to work. We had other items pop up that prevented us from doing so. So now we're awake. Probably the earliest we have been in quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> Probably since the last time we had to catch an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say it is really nice waking up this early because the sky is so pretty. It's like kind of seeing the sunrise. So I'm glad we did it. And I'm hoping that after we go get the camper, I'm gonna have enough time to go get me a coffee. So that's my little treat for waking up so early. Make sure no uh, nature happenings have occurred. Okay. Always check the tires first and foremost. Where you washed and like waxed the tires last uh, time, oh, they yeah. look good. They still do? Yeah. We made a rookie mistake last night. First of all, we got here like right as it was getting dark, so we were kind of in a rush. And whenever you're camping, you really can't be in a rush because then you will forget details. And Bunky and I got the camper unattached. We were like starting to get it all set up. And all of a sudden I was like, hang on, I need to see if we're level side to side. And I pulled a level out. Mm -hmm. We are not level side to side. We're like this. But at that point, we were already detached. And so we were like, we're not doing this. We're just going to let it be. Although I really feel like we need to put something underneath one tire. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we are. We went for like a little drive this morning in the truck. And when we were like pulling back, I was like, Bunky, look at our camper. Because at nighttime, you know, it's like hard to see. But in the daytime, when you go look, we were like leaning. You can see it. Like It looks pretty bad. It was not as obvious last night last night and it's not terrible but you know a half inch this way it's, you can feel it you can feel it so anyways that's that also the ladybug saga continues because our camper has about a thousand ladybugs bunky has literally gotten i don't know hundreds there, out this there, morning there, there's probably 150 that he's gotten just this morning yeah so and not that. including the 40 to 50 we did like yesterday when right. we opened it up right but last night we went and got dinner at yeah. the little restaurant here. The Low Country something other they call it. It was really good. It was. I had steak poutine. So french fries and gravy. Cheese. My, my first experience with that and it was nice. It was like french fries, cheese, gravy, steak. Yeah. It was really good. It was. I was pleasantly surprised actually. I meant to film it and I forgot. And then I got a like chicken cob salad. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Well... It Tell just, them what our plan is for today. It just so happens that uh, Hamburger Joe's is only like 10, 15 minutes at most from here. Yep. Heading to lunch, little Hamburger Joe's action. We're going to go... Walmart. To Walmart and pick up some necessities. We'll give you a haul when we get home. Okay. Okay, so we always put the level back here. And that's how we'll know like if we're good side to side. Hopefully y'all can see it. That might not look like a lot. But in a camper, that is a huge difference. Let's see how much we... I mean, yeah, we could be like a solid half inch to three quarters of an inch up. Yeah. We're pretty on level. Okay, 
We are back here's, from our trip. Here's the score, y'all. My voice is shot, so Bunky's going to do our haul. Okay. Well, we've got a new fan because this is more practical. We've had a box fan that we've used for... At least a year. Probably, yeah, like one plus years, if not almost two. Because Bunky has to have um, airflow at nighttime. I don't know how this happened, but I'm happy about it. Oh coconut dreams. Yeah, fudge, coconut, and caramel. Ooh. That sounds like a winner to me. Um, coffee, always. Cold brew. Creamer, a small creamer. Caramel macchiato. Miniature Milo's. We've got one of the ingredients that we need for one of our meals that we're having. Mm, I wonder if y'all can guess what we're gonna cook. Um, pot size thin spaghetti. Rotini. Cilantro. Tomatoes. Bluets. <laughs> blueberries. And organic spinach and spring mix. Mm. I like the combo there. It's good. We have some tomato sauce to go along with our spaghetti. Breakfast bowl because, because. we have access to a microwave. Y'all. And you love these, so. Yeah. The only time we have a microwave is in this camper. Yeah, so. Uh, cinnamon rolls for some Blackstone breakfast cookage. And then um, artichokes for Bunky's chicken pasta salad. Oh. Parm for spaghetti. spaghetti. For the pasta salad. Yep. We actually did not have a pot of sorts in the camper, so. It was gonna be hard to make pasta salad and spaghetti without a pot. Yeah, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty, pretty light, nice. Pretty lightweight, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. It's like 15 bucks. On the camper related okay. items. Yeah. These are one of my staples, y'all. If you have a camper. The, the best. Like, these are good for just like outdoors type stuff. And I use those on the Blackstone actually for yeah. the cleanup and all that. Some AAA batteries because the remotes around here are starting to not work anymore. Yep. And we got to make sure that we can turn, you know, the fireplace on and the TV from the luxury of our recliners over there. <laughs> yeah. And then some good old damp rid for, have damp rid. um, keeping the moisture out of here so okay that is our walmart is haul. That the haul that's the that's haul it. you just look so cute in your toboggan i can't stand it thank you <laughs> i'm actually it's, i'm actually kind of hot really Jackets, something serious. I'm chilly. Daisy May and I are in here by the fireplace cuddling. It's starting to rain out here. A little, a little, a little drizzle from the skizzle. <laughs> a little drizzle. <laughs> we made some smashed cinnamon rolls. They look good. Bacon, coffee, and smashed cinnamon rolls. That's my kind of breakfast. In right the there. camper on a Sunday yeah. morning watching but Hallmark. Okay, so after breakfast, we actually ran back to our house. And that's like the nice thing about staying here is we're like 30 minutes from home. So if we need to go back for anything, we can. But we wanted to grab a few more groceries, take our laundry home. Put our trash out for tomorrow and like all of that kind of stuff but we are back and we are so excited we got a new rug it was on sale i guess around christmas time it is massive we just put it out we brought back our red like um little it's not a big green egg but you know like our little smoker grill we are gonna make some like smoked chicken tonight baked potato i'm so excited the nascar race is on so we're gonna put out our new tv outside and watch the race it's beautiful the sun came out i'm just like so happy and it's warm enough to have a screen door day let some fresh air in here i love being able to have the screen door open and then we put our awning out we're getting our patio set up break out some chairs. Oh, I'm so excited. What is on your camera? What is it? It's like our little, uh, the little seal around the front. Oh. Finally 
it's gone in and out so many times. What do I do? This camera might be on its last leg. Yeah, <laughs> she's due for a, either a major servicing or... I've been saying we get a new camera for like two years. <laughs> oh, and we have the solar stove. Oh, that was another reason we went home was to get some wood yep. for the solar stove. This is our new rug. This thing is like so big compared to our old one. It feels really good. It's here. so nice. It's like 65, 67 right now. Bunkies are setting up our outside TV. We're so excited. We didn't get to watch the race on it. No. But we're going to watch um, Tournament of Champions on Food Network. We love that show. And it starts tonight. And whatever else floats our boat out there this evening. I feel like the TV is going to like change our camping life. Well, you know, over here we have the... There's obviously the outside electrical, but it also has right there the like cable connection. But this is a smart TV, and we're gonna hope that the the Wi-Fi signal strength is strong enough for us to connect and stream. But I feel like just like sitting on your own patio, grilling out with a fire going, watching TV outside, like under the stars. Is there anything better? Based on like when we're riding around on the golf cart, or we see like other people doing it. It looks very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. I think when football season comes around too, especially, I'm going to be like... All about it. Oh, yeah. We weren't sure if the TV <laughs> came with batteries, but it did, and it came with the screws that it needed. And then Bunky just has this... Um, where'd you get this? That's from good old Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. He got Th that, 30 bucks. Yeah, he got that tool kit and put in here when we first got the camper. Yeah, just in case, like... It's basically got almost anything you might would need. You know, you got to... Variety of plier options, uh, adjustable wrench, I guess they call it. Handy dandy heavy duty stuff right there. Very small screwdrivers, all the assortments here. And then, I mean, just look at all that. Yeah, wow, 30 bucks. Yeah, there's a hammer, sockets. I feel like that's a good deal right there. Yeah, I think it was on sale when I got it, but just keep your eye out. Harbor Freight always got some discounts. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get that in here with this little teeny tiny these are by the way like one of my favorite types of screwdrivers they're just so handy mm -hmm. got to make sure we get some solid feet stabilization for this TV outside it has been pretty windy so excited. oh my gosh it came on what how exciting is this also let me tell you guys a game changer I brought my little slippers with me on this trip and I will never go camping again without my slippers. It is the best thing ever. <laughs> and he just said, there's so many outlets on our camper that I've never used before. I'm getting used today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've known that they're like there, but uh, you know, like we got the grill over here. I'm about to plug in the heat gun. Uh huh. And then I got my extension cord. And uh -huh. of course I could go plug it in over there, but I was like, I think there's an outlet under here. There is. Which there is. This is our basement. Well, he should go through it one day and like show you all the things he has in here and like, how he keeps it organized and set up. Yeah, there's normally like stuff sitting right here, but um, once we get that out, I have a little bit of like floor space. So air compressor. Those are our um, yellow Level ball locks. Yeah, which we could have used. Yeah, we should have used because we're so uneven. <laughs> Okay, now let me show y'all what is on the menu for tonight. I'm so excited. So we have these whole chicken legs here. We're going to smoke them. And another reason that we went home was to get like some of these ingredients because I didn't want to go out and like buy all new stuff when it's just at home. So this is actually not just Sweet Baby Ray's. I put some of the Kinder's Cali Gold in here and a little bit of like apple cider vinegar. So this is like some incredible barbecue sauce. And then this is a mix of Kinder's red garlic and the butcher's all-purpose. 
I'm going to season the chicken with that. And then after Bunky smokes it for a little bit, he'll add some of the barbecue sauce. We don't like putting it on already because sometimes it can like caramelize and almost burn. So we like to smoke it for a little bit and then add this. And then we're going to do some sauteed zucchini. I'm going to do a regular potato. Bunky's going to do a sweet potato. It is going to be so good. Okay, and y'all, I did not get ready today or anything. So you're going to have to just like ignore the way I look. But I love a good like casual lazy camper day where you don't have to like get ready but anyway um y'all know i love dog turning up barbecue sauce so i feel like my go-to um how do i say it my base is always sweet baby rays but then i'd love to like add all kinds of things to it and if you've never tried the kinder's cali gold it is incredible it's so good and then i love like the vinegary tang in a barbecue sauce so i always add like apple cider vinegar so anywho that's that and then um our sweet potato and our regular potato i'm just gonna wrap in tin foil we're gonna put them on the smoker and let them like sit on there the whole time the chicken's on there so they should be nice and tender i am so excited and the weather is like perfect it's like 57 60 so it's not too cold it's like the best camping weather ever Do y'all see this chicken? It looks amazing. I love how that barbecue sauce almost just got like this glassy look to it. It smells so good. Like if it tastes half as amazing as it smells, this is gonna be just incredible. Daisy is like being crazy because I think she smells this chicken and she's just like going insane. <laughs> so Bunky is pulling the potatoes off the grill. I have some brown sugar for him butter of course we have some um bacon bits some cheese sour cream this is gonna be delicious okay look we took the um tinfoil off for the last few minutes to try and like crisp up that skin we should have done it sooner but that is like next time we know see if all this hard work was worth it i mean look at this though it's beautiful that looks good right yeah but we don't have our um meat thermometer yeah so we're like praying this is <laughs> oh no i know it's done oh yeah oh oh that looks good so good this is delicious the chicken oh i cannot wait to try it y'all this chicken it's amazing the skin is perfect that like red garlic gives it this like heat but that barbecue sauce that i concocted is so delicious and it hits like all the different like notes mm -hmm. it's my favorite like this chicken my mouth's watering so much I can't even like talk to y'all. Yeah. By it's the way, by, by the way, the skin did like the all of the fat like oh. melted away, and then you're just left with this wonderful. That skin just like melts in your mouth. Like I can't even tell you. It's so delicious. Okay, this is so delicious. Like funky. This is one of my favorites. Sometimes I think we eat better in the camper than we do at home. I think sometimes we do. <laughs> Seriously, though. I love, like, warmer weather because we grill a lot, as y'all know. And grilling is just my favorite. Like, there's just nothing like it. Big green egg, blackstone, all of it. So, I am so excited that, like, it's getting warmer and we can make all the yummy grilled foods. I want Bunky to get some ribs. All Gril the things. Grilling season is upon us. I'm so excited. I love to grill and chill, okay? Like we have to go do a lot of stuff opportunity for some camper maintenance has presented itself right yeah so I think I've wiped these off before but they need these are our like AC unit like little filters which yeah these aren't spectacular in the first place but uh -huh. I guess they obviously do a little something um, I'm gonna go spray these off so we're breathing clean air yes tell them what you already did this morning 
Um, so in our bedroom on my side, the shade had somehow become detached from the roller. It's been like that for a while now. So I, re I reattached it. I took the balance off and then put the shade back onto the roller and then rolled it up and reattached the balance. Monkey's doing all kinds of maintenance today. I love mm -hmm. it. And y'all, we got this hammock chair. It is actually life changing. This is what you call the life of luxury. We should have gotten two. Yeah. I'll if you don't have one, you have to get it. Well, they were, um, I think it was normally $70. And then, you know, back in November, Black Friday sales, I think it was $35. So I was like, for 50% off, $35 bucks for that type of chair. Yeah. Like, it was, it was worth the, you know, Splurge. Worth the splurge. I think we got it at um, Camping World. Yeah, it came from Camping World. Y'all, it is oh, the that, best. That's when we got this mat. Oh, yeah. And this mat is like huge. And it would normally have been, I mean, it, it was like 30% like 30 of what it normally costs. So I figured for the, the larger full coverage, it was nice. Yeah. And I like the color. Yeah, and the, the edges have like where you can... Stake it down. It stakes in. Casey's okay, so like, I want to come out. We don't out. have any. Actually, I can look in my little utility box over there. Yeah. I don't think we have any stakes, but those are very inexpensive. Show us the camping chair. Lay, lay in the hammock chair. Well, you got to hold these filters for us. Okay. Then. You want to come play? Come on. All right. Here goes. Hopefully, uh, this is not too windy, by the way. It's kind of windy out here. Y'all, do you see this? Oh my lord. I mean, it is like amazing. Mm. Oh, it's the best. Then you got a little, you got a little foot rest. Wow. I'm what? There's nothing better. I'm afraid. Don't uh, go like that. <laughs> Come here, Dace. Come on. The next question mark is the spray port. Yeah. This thing always gives me fits. Be careful. Oh, be careful. I want to hold that electronic device back a little <laughs> bit. There you go. Oh. What have I done here? Oh, it's working good. Yup. Look at that. I just need one. Thank you. Are you sure let these like sit in the sun to dry? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Did you see that come off of there? No. Watch the next one. Okay. Just hold on. It'll it'll just like yeah. run down like blood. See it? Yeah. That one wasn't good. So I made some of my pasta salad yesterday and I put like a little container in here so I can take it out to the pool. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. Bunky is going to make a oh so delicious wrap. We have all the things. Chicken, grilled chicken, cuke, pepper jack cheese, mm -hmm. little bacon bits, and lettuce, spinach spring mix. Oh, and my tomatoes. tomatoes. You know what I was thinking though? What? What's gonna be like your sauce? Um. Well, we have the little condiments stash. Yeah. I think, is there a ranch in there? I'm probably going to use ranch if there's a ranch in there. I bet you there's a um, Chick-fil-A sauce or like a honey mustard. Oh, that, actually honey mustard would be real good. Let me this. go check and see. This is our like little Chick-fil-A stash. We have Polynesian ranch or mayonnaise. Mmm. Polynesian might be good. I'm contemplating. I mean, I think ranch would be the way to go if you're, okay. willing, to, if you're willing to spare it for me. Oh, you take it, Bonky. I'm not going to use it. I'll put the other two in the fridge in here. That looks so good. And now, we tuck and roll. Tuck and fold. Tuck and fold. 12.24, lunchtime, come early today. Mmm, <laughs> that's so good. Mm-hmm. 
I just gotta tell you all, I am overly impressed with the bathroom situation. I'm in telling there. you, it's so nice. Like, when we were at Hilton Head RV Resort, like we, we went to that one bathroom and I don't think it was associated with the pool. It was just like a bathhouse. And it was very nice. But that was a very nice bathroom. But this in here is top notch. Like, so good. It is. And I don't really, um, I wouldn't normally like comment on bathroom situation, <laughs> but like it, it, it was very impressive. So I just, I just wanted you to know. Yeah, like, agreed. It was really, Comfortable, clean, automatic Big. sinks, soap dispensers, air dryers, um, all that good stuff. Maybe 70. I think it's like 70. We've been at the pool for the past, like, I don't know, four or five hours. The most beautiful day. We've had the best time. I've been reading my new book. I'm so excited. It's very good so far. I went to the bathroom earlier and I told Bunky, like, I'm so impressed by this bathroom. And then he just mm -hmm. went and he's like, yeah, it's equally as great. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, and they have a pizza special tonight any size any toppings as many as you want for twelve dollars so we're gonna like scratch our spaghetti dinner and we're gonna go get a pizza monkey's super excited because y'all know that is his favorite yeah. but i just have to tell y'all this is by far one of our very favorite campgrounds there is not a lot of places that can top this every detail is looked at there is nothing left untouched i feel like mm -hmm. the best campground ever exceptional exceptional it really exceptional. is and you know what what we have been to multiple other campgrounds where people have talked to us about carolina pines yeah they have and raved it. and said like yeah. it was so great and it really is that's true so i think this is definitely one of the uh premier this is this is like the spot. So it far. is. It is the but spot. But I will say though, I think um, I want to give Hilton Head another chance <laughs> in the spring slash summer because we haven't given it that opportunity yet. Yeah, agreed. And this is like one of their pools as well as the pool over there. They also have a hot tub, and all of this is heated, so it is open actually. I'm pretty sure all winter long it doesn't shut, and it was packed today. It is just one of our very favorite places to stay. If you guys saw our vlog last time we stayed here, there's a bowling alley, there's an arcade, a general store, there is a restaurant, a bar, all kinds of stuff up here. And then on the other side of this building is like the big pool and like kitty, water park, everything. Oh yeah, on the other side there's like the whole other pool. Okay, so we decided on pizza since it was on special tonight. And I have to say, it actually looks so good. It's kind of like thin crust, which is my favorite, and I never get thin crust. So I'm kind of excited. Bunky did um, pepperoni, sausage, and jalapeno, and then I just did extra cheese. But I am super pumped. We will report back and tell you guys what we think. Hey friends, we are getting out stuff to make dinner tonight. It's actually the next day, and we haven't filmed anything because we've been at the pool all day, but it's been beautiful. But we are going to do something fun tonight, kind of like our own little creation, right, Bunky? Mm -hmm. We got the red grill going. Bunky's going to make us some cheeseburger patties. We don't have any buns. So, after we grill our burgers, we're going to add cheese to them and then wrap them in a tortilla and grill the tortilla with it. Hopefully this is gonna get like a nice crust crunch. Yeah. Cheesy, just amazingness. I'm thinking that we're gonna crunch through the tortilla into delicious cheese and burger patty, and it's gonna be oh. so good. Oh, so good. And I have, uh, well we have pepper, pepper jack cheese. Yes. And I have guac, so I'm having a little bit of a Ooh. Southwest style burger. Yes. I'm gonna do pepper jack and American cheese, so mine's extra cheesy. Yeah. Of course, you know. Ooh, I, I, I actually might like a slice of uh, American in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are gonna be, I'm excited to see how they're gonna turn out. I think they're gonna be really good. Um, we already seasoned our meat, and then Bunky, tell them the most exciting news ever of all time. Well, we have extended our stay for, for five days. 
Yeah, so we're no longer leaving tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, we are leaving on Sunday. Bunkies are staying camping. We are like, it's too beautiful. We've had the best time. We don't want to leave. We were so sad, and we're like, you know what? Let's just stay. We got to take advantage of the opportunity when we can. So we're gonna keep kicking it in the bunkhouse. Yeah. How are you feeling about the? I'm only gonna make three, so. Oh wow, they're gonna be big. Well, they'll shrink. They'll okay. Shrink. Okay, that's good. Hey, these burgers are looking good. I want cheese, cheese, please. Cheese, cheese. Little American. I guess I'm gonna do some pepper jack too. Are you going both? Oh yeah, I'm going uh, double pepper jack and one American. You're going three slices of cheese. Extra cheesy, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is like a little package <laughs> of cheesy, meaty, incredible deliciousness, okay? That's like a little package of love. Wow, I actually can't even get that separated because of- The cheese pull. Whoa. I know, it's so Hello. Fun. Block, hot got sauce, block. pepper jack. I like the tortilla on there. I just took a bite and I was like, oh, this is nice. It's like way less breading, so you kind of enjoy the meat more. Mm-hmm. Experimental. Mm-hmm. But delicious. Delicious. 